Welcome all OET aspirants to our new video. We are speaking eaters. Thank you for all the support, we do appreciate that. Please continue to watch, support and subscribe our channel. Kindly subscribe, and click the bell icon for more updates and videos. Please share with your friends. Our aim is to make speaking tasks more friendly, and simplify them with providing lots of ideas and you can develop them into beautiful structures. Today, we going to discuss about OET speaking role play, vitamin C, also known as scurvy. Let's check the role play before we start. Hello, John. My name is Mary. I'm the school nurse here. I've been asked to talk to you about some problems that you've been having in class lately. Is that okay? That's perfectly fine, nurse. Can you tell me what seems to be bothering you at school? I'm always worried about these bruises and these red spots appear on my body. I see. Where are these bruising and red spots, John? The bruises are mostly on all over my legs and these red spots are everywhere. Okay, would you mind if I have a quick look? No problem, nurse. Right there on my legs. See? Yes, I can see them. I realize this is difficult for you. That's correct, nurse. It is a bit difficult for me. I can sense that, John, but do not get worried. We can definitely help you. Have you been to the doctor yet? Yes, nurse. I went to see the doctor when I start to have red spots all over my body. It was three weeks ago. He said something about scurvy. I understand that. Can you please tell me what you know about scurvy? Nurse, I do not know much, but I can recollect what he explained to me. He said that it happened because I don't have enough vitamin C. But that won't cause these bruises, right? The information that you received from your doctor is accurate. Scurvy is a condition that you will get if there is deficiency of vitamin C in your body. This usually happens because your diet lacks an appropriate required amount of vitamin C. This vitamin is very important as it strengthens the tissues of your blood vessels. If you don't have enough, your gums will start bleeding and you'll bruise very easily. Oh really? I didn't know that. The doctor just said I should eat better and take drinks that have vitamins in them. Before I proceed any further, first, I'll ask you some questions to give me a better understanding of your situation. Then, I will explain the changes that you've to make in order to manage your condition. Following that, you can ask me any questions that you may have. How do you feel about what I am proposing? Sounds fine by me. How often do you eat fresh fruits and vegetables? My mom doesn't buy them much. So, we don't have them much. I sense that you dislike fruits and vegetables. Is that right? That's true. Can you tell me more about your usual diet? Well, I wake up late in the morning and usually don't get enough time for breakfast. So, I just grab one or two Butterfingers on the way to school. I am sorry, I am not sure, I understand, what you mean by Butterfinger. It's my favorite brand of candy bar. Thank you for clarifying. Just let me check, what you have told me so far. You don't eat any fruit or vegetables, often skip breakfast, and just have a couple of Butterfingers. Would you like to add anything to that? No, that's right. Would you mind telling me? More about your eating habits. For lunch, I prefer hot dogs or hamburger from the school cafeteria. At night, it depends on what we have at home. What do you normally have at your home? That's all up to my mother's mood. 
it can be meatloaf, or steaks, or spaghetti or sometimes, we even order Chinese, or pizzas. I see. The thing is John, you are not getting enough vitamin C, from your daily diet, and its deficiency, can be quite serious. In worst case scenario, your gums start bleeding, and your teeth become loose, and they begin to fall out. I don't want you to worry, it's easy to fix. But, we need to talk about, ways to do that. Is that okay with you? Yes, that's okay. I didn't know all that. I didn't think, vitamins were so important. Yes John, they are essential for, proper functioning of our body. Some vitamins can be stored in the body. But vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin, and isn't stored, for more than a short time. So, you've to eat foods, that are rich in vitamin C, every day. The best source of this vitamin is, fruit and vegetables. Some have more vitamin C than others, like citrus fruits, such as oranges and lemons, and other fruits like papayas, mangoes, and strawberries. In vegetables, capsicum and leafy vegetables, like kale, spinach, and broccoli contains vitamin C, in abundance. Do you like any from, what I've mentioned? Yes nurse, I don't mind papaya, mangoes, and oranges. In vegetables capsicum is okay. That's great. You could make a orange smoothie, for breakfast, instead of having butter fingers. They're quick to make, and you could take it with you, on the way to school. You could also try, fruit salads with papaya and, mangoes during your lunch, at school cafeteria. And for dinner, you can have dishes with capsicum, like mushrooms, rice, and noodles. Yes, I suppose I could. Nurse, why can't I, just take a pill for vitamin C? Well, you could take a tablet, but it doesn't help you, in the long term. Getting the vitamins, from your daily diet is more beneficial, to your health. So, if I start getting more vitamin C, how long before the bruises go? If you start taking in vitamin C, each day, the bruises will go, quite quickly. As a teenager, you require, around 75 milligrams of vitamin C, per day. Always remember that, it can't be stored in your body for long. And because of that, you shouldn't reduce, the consumption of vitamin C rich food, even after the bruises disappear. Sure nurse, I understand. Being said that, do you have any other concerns? No, I don't think so. You clarified all my doubts. Thank you John. To ensure that, you have understood everything correctly, would you mind repeating, back to me, what we have discussed so far, before we close this discussion? I have to take more vegetables, and fruits, daily to maintain vitamin C in my body, as it can't be stored in my body. I appreciate your understanding. If you need to ask any questions later, you know where my office is. Of course Nurse Mary. Can you come and see me? in a week, to see how things are going? Sure. Thanks for the information. It was my pleasure. Well, it was great meeting you. I'll see you next week, John. Definitely nurse.